Okay, so full disclosure, the person we're talking about today is at best going to give you a massive headache and at worst, a brain aneurysm. So please do not forward me your medical bill. Please do not forward me your medical bills because I will not be able to pay for them. So if you follow me on Twitter, which you should, you knew this video was coming. Today we're talking about Ghazi Kodzo, aka Black Hitler, as the internet has named him. Um, I suggest Ghazi just changes his name to Black Hitler legally because it's fitting. Now, Ghazi is the most racist person I've ever seen on this website. Ghazi thinks that white people should not be able to adopt black babies. White people, come here. Stop adopting black children. He believes that black people killing cops is an act of heroism. Cop killers are black heroes. That is an act of self-defense. How dare you put us through 500 years of colonialism, 500 years of slavery, 500 years of oppression and killing our men, women, and children left and right and you expect nothing to happen to you? It's just not going to go that way anymore. He believes that white people should pay reparations to black people and he also has a pack of spineless, just the most beta cucked loser white people who follow him around and they pay him now you owe me some money mm -hmm. okay you owe me reparations absolutely why is that because every freedom that i have and have taken for granted for my entire life has been made possible by wealth that my ancestors stole good uhuru uhuru what your name is jackson uhuru jackson you owe me reparations i do why that because I have benefited from the wealth that was stolen from mm -hmm. you. All white people owe reparations though. Absolutely, absolutely. Ain't that right? That's true. You owe me reparations. Correct. And I want it. When do I want it? Now. When do I want it? Now. And you gonna get it for me? Yes indeed. And that's coming from me calling someone a beta. Yeah, and remember when that white teenager in Chicago was kidnapped and tortured by four black teenagers on Facebook Live for three days straight? Gazi made a video right after that attempting to justify it. Some of my people kidnapped one of your people, put them in a put them in a tub and beat them up a little bit. You know, they scraped him up a little bit, tied him, went on live stream and stuff about it. Have you heard about it? I did, I heard about it. Crazy, right? But actually it's not so crazy since, you know, your people built an entire capitalist imperialist society on top of my people. You know, you wanna talk about kidnapping and torture. Can we talk about the almost 700 years of kidnapping and torture of African people? So now that we've kind of scratched the surface on what an insane, racist little burnt biscuit he is, let's get into my recent interaction with him, which some of you probably saw on Twitter. I invited Gazi to a live debate on my channel. You guys know I've been doing these debates lately, and I thought, holy shit, it would be amazing to have Black Hitler on my channel. It would be, if nothing else, very entertaining for you guys. So I saw him boasting on Twitter about how no one will debate him. People are too scared to debate him. So I said, ding, 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 I'll do it. He's been on YouTube for a really long time, and I had never seen anyone confront him to his face about his bullshit or to his webcam. I was going to press him. I mean, it's not as if I was going to be unfair because I've never been unfair to anyone that's come on my channel but let's just say I was prepared to pull out the raid and do a little bit of pest control because it's not like it's just the one roach it's actually multiplied by about 40,000. So I tweeted him and I asked him to do the debate and he agreed and he was pretty confrontational in direct messages right off the bat saying he's glad I was brave enough to debate him which was annoying, but was fine because I wasn't exactly expecting uh, pleasantries. Everything was a go. We agreed on a time and date, and then I posted a promotional image on Twitter to just let you guys know when it was going down. You guys got really excited, which made me happy. But then the next day I woke up to some stupid shit. He had his assistant email me a contract, which right off the bat is new. I've been on a bunch of different channels, a bunch of different shows. There's never been a contract involved with this type of thing at all. So. Right off the bat, I'm like, okay, let me open this email and see what the hell is going on. So here are the demands that Ghazi made at the last minute in order for me to debate him. I was to write a check to the African People's Socialist Party once a month, every month that the video was up with half the ad revenue. 50% of the ownership of the video goes to the African People's Socialist Party and they have the ability and right to take the video down at any time. Ghazi demanded full control over the debate's agenda, the topics discussed, and the time allotted to discuss them. He also demanded on both a timekeeper and a moderator from the African People's Socialist Party, AKA his comrades. The moderator was to be his assistant. To put it into perspective, Ghazi really tried to rig 
the entire freaking debate. He wanted me to fund his socialist group once a month, every month. He wanted the ability to take the video down if I embarrassed him. He wanted a moderator from his own political group. And I didn't have the freedom on my own channel to ask him questions that I wanted. I had to talk about exactly what he wanted to talk about. So if you haven't caught on by now, the debate, which was supposed to occur today, is not happening. I am not signing that bullshit contract. And it's funny, Gazi, because I know you're watching, Boo, that the night before you served me this stupid contract, you were on Facebook Live chanting hashtag dead body talking about debating me, you and your cult followers. In that stream, you promised to drag me, murder me, and obviously that's just in the context of the debate, but if you were that confident and you and your cult were that confident that you were going to embarrass me and that you were going to, quote, kill that little white bitch, then why do you have to rig the entire thing? Why exactly does dragging me involve a completely fixed situation in your favor? So Ghazi then proceeded to go off the deep end on Twitter, gloating that he won because I backed out of the debate. Honey, I didn't back out of the debate, and the invitation is still open by the way. Now, I attempted to compromise with Gazi. I said that I would pay him directly a PayPal in his name rather than sending money to the African People's Socialist Group, which I don't feel comfortable giving money to. I told him I promised not to use any clips from the debate for future videos as long as I didn't have to sign over rights to the video. I told him that I'm okay with a moderator, but it cannot be someone from your group. I mean, I'm supposed to sit in a live stream with a timekeeper from the African People's Socialist Party, a moderator from the African People's Socialist Party, and the leader of the African People's Socialist Party. No thanks. So this whole time I was accommodating, polite, I tried to compromise, and he still went off the deep end when I didn't want to sign the contract, going on Twitter and calling me a cum bucket, a white bitch, a white capitalist bitch, um, Frankenstein, which is so funny, you would call a trans person Frankenstein when you constantly virtue signal about trans people, really cute. So here's the thing, Gauzy, you hypocritical little rat. The invitation to come on my channel is still open. The invitation to have a real conversation that is not fixed in your favor is still open. I think you know the truth though. I think you know that I would have demolished you in this live stream. And rather than, you know, grow a pair of balls and just show up and do the debate, you at the last minute decided to throw out all these insane demands that you knew I would not agree to so that you can then go on Twitter and gloat about how I lost because I forfeited. I didn't forfeit, bitch. You're clearly not as confident in your views as you say that you are and that your cult believes that you are. I would have happily demonetized the video altogether so neither one of us make money, but hmm. But it's interesting how you spend so much time saying that capitalism is oppressive but you sure wanted that money, didn't you? You've clearly shown yourself to be terrified of a, to quote you, little white bitch. So I guess you've taken the L without even having to debate. Toodles.